part C. Now this is a longer, this question requires a longer answer because there are three marks allocated to it, so we're looking for at least three different points here. A substance which emits beta radiation is placed close to a detector as shown below. You're given a number of aluminium squares, each one millimetre thick. The aim of the investigation is to find out what least thickness of aluminium is needed to prevent the beta radiation reaching the detector. And this thickness is known as the range. So our aim is to find out the least thickness of aluminium to prevent the beta radiation reaching the detector. Part 1. Describe briefly how you would carry out this investigation. How would you know when you've reached the range of beta radiation in aluminium? First of all, let's deal with the first line. Describe briefly how you would carry out this investigation. Well, the first thing I would do is measure the background radiation. So this is the level of background radiation that exists naturally due to radon gas and so on. So we remove all the sources, measure the background radiation. Then line up the source and detector and place the first sheet of aluminium. between the source and the detector. So, first of all we've measured the background radiation. We lined up the source and detector and placed the first sheet of aluminium between the source and the detector. And we continue adding more sheets until the meter the radiation shown on the meter falls to the background level that we measured initially So the first mark will be for measuring the background radiation. The second mark then is for lining up the source detector, placing the first sheet of aluminium between the source and the detector. And then the third mark is for continuing adding more sheets until the radiation on the meter falls to the background radiation level. So that would be the fullest answer for that. And continuing on on the theme of radiation. People who work with radioactive materials wear a small badge. It allows the amount of radiation to which they have been exposed to be measured. The diagram below shows the structure of the badge. So we have photographic film. We have a support at the back and then there's photographic film. And there's a layer of aluminium across the bottom half. And then there's a full layer of paper across the whole piece of the badge. The photographic film will be affected by any radiation passing through the paper and the aluminium. In a particular instance, it was found that the top half of the photographic film was affected by radiation, but the bottom half was not. In this instance, was the worker exposed to alpha radiation or beta radiation? Explain your answer. Well, now we have to look at the top half. This means that the form of radiation passed through the paper, but didn't pass through the aluminium. The penetration values for alpha, beta and gamma radiation vary. Alpha will not penetrate through paper. Beta will penetrate through the paper, but it won't penetrate through that thickness of aluminium. And gamma will penetrate through paper and aluminium. So in this instance, the worker was exposed to beta radiation. Because out of alpha or beta, which was your two options, only the beta 
will pass through the paper. So one mark for identifying it and one mark for the explanation. Part 3. If the worker had been exposed to gamma radiation, what effect would this have on the photographic film? And explain your answer. So we're going to get one mark for the effect and one for the explanation again. Gamma will penetrate through both paper and aluminium. So we would expect to see exposure on both the top and the bottom half. So both top and bottom half would show exposure. And the explanation? Gamma radiation can pass through paper and through the aluminium because it has a greater penetrating power.